morning america and youtube all right so i wanted to start a new series on tui development this has been a little bit of a journey for me it's something uh, i've wanted to do for a long time and i think it was a pretty cool project and i kind of have like a finished product that i'm like willing to either like do videos on or just you know throw the idea out there for other people to do if you're looking for like a coding project um but basically like what i wanted for my tys was i had a goal i wanted zero tui drawing libraries um, like I wanted to let, kind of learn how to do that myself, you know, with all control characters, and it, it was fun. And you should have seen the first versions; they were absolutely horrid. <laughs> uh, but I also wanted to be, you know, once I had one, I wanted to be able to pipe that TY through a WebSocket and see it on like a front-end web app. Like that was another goal, right? I used to do that kind of stuff back in the day; and it was really fun. Um, the second thing is I wanted to kind of uh, get back into Redis. Uh, so I definitely used Redis for like some of the, like the, the chat app that I'm going to show you. Like it's basically uh, based off the IRS or I, I, or old IRC things. And that was back in the day, if you were growing up, there was something called IRC where you, from a terminal, there was channels and you could chat and you'll kind of see that you can look it up and see like old IRC TUIs um, for, for an idea. I also needed like a reactive state management system like you would use on the front end to to kind of I wanted to kind of take that idea and use it on the back end to manage my TUI right I didn't know if that was a thing or how other ones did it but I definitely developed something that like worked for me the other thing I wanted was like you know on the front end we have things like raid X UI and their color systems and they make things look beautiful so I wanted to kind of port all of their color systems into my TUI um, so we got all this done and I'll show you right, right down here kind of what's going on. We have our using xterm.js. And if you don't know what xterm is, it allows you to run, like connect to a backend and uh, like through a WebSocket or something and pipe PTY data to, to like, or like, you know, terminal data to the front end. And it interprets that into like a, like a canvas. Like I use their canvas. There's a couple ways you can do it. Straight HTML it interprets it to, or like in a canvas, which uses your GPU, which is really awesome. So that's what we're doing with this front end React app. But that's all it is, a React app that runs XtermJS. Literally, that's it. And and then everything else that you see is this TUI. So I'll show you the first like TUI that I got, some of the components that I got working with it. Um, I started with a WAF, and I'll show you that WAF right now. Like, I, I, you know, for my servers, I wanted to kind of like consolidate like some of my web logs with like my WAF that I was building. I called it my little waffle. So it just kind of collects data and either blocks IPs based off that. And I want to also be able to geolocate without using a third party library or third party API. So there's also that, and I can do videos on that if you want, but you'll see like I have this WAF, right? This little guy that kind of says, hey, I don't like these things. And it geolocates that data for me. Um, it shows me just regular access logs and also geolocation for that. It shows me my UF w status of like blocked ips which will also do site or notation so i have this little WAF thing that i built and i want to build a ty for that so two separate parts little waffle i call it my waffle and then i needed uh, like uh the ty for it um and this is it so i have tabbing you can see at the top i'm tabbing between the panels uh and trust me this is like version two version one was pretty horrid uh, but here we go and that's all it does so I can switch between these panels I have a little status bar at the bottom that shows me what I'm switching to and this is it and I can also tab through like on, on in the panels I can tab you know up and down in that so that's it it's not using any third-party things it's extremely fast uh, it, you know and it took a little bit to get here but that this is version 2 of this and then I kind of progress from there and that's where the idea to do uh, the next this idea here came from so i'll show you what that looks like from the terminal so the app that we're trying to pipe through a web socket um and this is either like you know i'm trying to gain interest in this to see if anybody out there wants you know like youtube videos on it or just to give people an idea of like you know as a product you could code yourself um so basically let me just cd to this here so what i'm doing here is running this like basically the react uh like there's this part here radix theme pty ty right that 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 is like a, a well let me just let's say node let me just show you what i'm talking about so this is it this is the the, the ty that basically connects to redis right here so i'm running this part here this pty terminal straight from the terminal and it connects to redis to, for it's all all of its data basically so it has a nick list you'll see here which are connected systems 
it's got like channels over here that I can flop through and I can also write to those channels like this right so I'll see that here so the next step is like okay well can I pipe this this through a terminal and uh, or like a web socket to a front end and using xterm.js you absolutely can do that um, and I'll show you right here so basically what we're gonna run now is this right here which is gonna be served by nginx which is, this react app is gonna connect to node.js and ask to run this through a uh, web socket okay so let me just refresh this here and you'll see it kind of load up oops um, what I need to do is let me clear this what I'm gonna do is uh, yeah so I'm gonna back out real quick I gotta go actually run the web socket so let me clear this so what I'm gonna do now is launch this web socket okay to accept the connections from the front end and launch that the little TUI app okay so uh, now what we can say is if I refresh this page here we should get our TUI app and it shows one Nicholas right now um, the WS kind of clears out the database for me so if I come back into here and just say node I should see two two people logged on now okay so it's Redis is serving this little TUI and the front end TUI um, like with the Nicholas this should actually update here in a minute with a new Nicholas well in theory it should every 30 seconds so uh, that's what it's doing like I have a little you know process running collecting new data and piping it out to the TUI so there we go so we have our updated Nicholas uh, you can see one I'm running from the terminal and one is running from the web web app right so and in my channel over here I can write to that like hello and I should see that in my terminal over here right there and we can also write from our terminal and it says input down here is from this user hello world we'll do like hello world right so on on the front end web app we should also see that hello world coming from the terminal back end and if I launch another one like this we're gonna see three users now so that's all using like um, we'll go back to the uh, the drawing here of how that's kind of working so this little web app that's being piped out to anyone who comes to the front end right says hey launch this and uh, give me a TY it that TY is basically or, so the web app is basically this launch piping through here to the web app right and all of the the data that you see is it's talking to Redis so all three of these basically your TY over here is talking to Redis for the channels and like the users and like who who you're what channel you're writing to, right? So I can go to API Dev and say hello world here, right? And anyone who's in that current channel now, it's very simple TY, right? But it, it looks nice. And one of the goals was to use like Radix themes, and I'll show you that here in a minute. So there it goes. So I just wrote to that channel. Like I'm not gonna see that over here until I actually switch to that channel. So I can say, okay, now I want to see stuff here, right? So this will actually pipe back out to here and I'll see that over here. And now anyone in that channel can talk, right? so that's all it is um but anyways so we got the tab switching between panels and they look nice so this is like kind of like my third ty ever without using a third party library um just does basically like you know simple things so far like i got panel sections in the library i got like i can select stuff in there real nice um and basic input stuff like this you know um and and that's really it you know in channel selection so so you know to me it, it's simple but still feat without using a third-party library to, to build the TYs so the other thing I want to do like uh, so this has some commands here like you can do like slash help on here and I'll show you like commands right one of them is themes so for my TYs I didn't want to just do it without a third party I wanted it to kind of start with something that looked nice so like you know on the front end you usually theme things with like things like raid X UI or uh, um, oh man I forget the name of that you know the other big library there that tailwind that everybody uses these days all right so can you do that with tuis well i ended up porting all of radex's colors to like uh to like ty based usage basically i took all the palettes and converted them with some functions to 
to be able to use their color palettes with terminals. So I can do stuff like this now. I can say for my TYs, I could say uh, slash theme and pick any one of these themes up here. We'll just go with tomato. Now this does flash a little bit. I haven't really figured out why right now, like when it switches the themes right away uh, that it does all that flashing. Um, that's, you know, minor bug, but it's something to look into. I'm still learning this stuff too, uh, but whatever so i can do themes now so now my entire you know tui is based in this theme and like if i do that over here even through the web app i can say theme um let's just do help so i can see what these are it's gonna spit out my help here and i'll do like slash theme and we'll do uh how about like mwav or whatever right it'll even do that on the front end um so uh there we go and that's also all you know like I'm using a state management type system like you would in react like x state or something like that i kind of developed that idea for the tui stuff so all the, the the switching and things like this of these channels and what i'm writing um and like like tabbing and things like that it's all using like a, a state management system of what i'm doing like the ty keeps track of all that info um but anyways that's the idea right like uh, i had fun with this like you know i had a few rules and goals for myself here uh, you, you know, use Redis, pipe the TY through a WebSocket to the front end. Um, got the Redis color supported on a reactive like state management for all of this stuff. Um, that's it. That was the whole project and idea. I just want to see if there's an interest out there. And if you want me to do some videos on that, I can kind of explain that. Or if you have a particular interest in one, one of these parts, Redis node, uh, like TYs or like WebSockets or, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, let me know. But, um, yeah. So the new series, you want you want to get into it? Let me know.